distinguished guest, the President of the United States, accompanied by Texas Rangers Executive Vice President and General Manager Chris Young. Good afternoon, and welcome to the 2023 World Champions. Thank you. I want to make it very clear. I saw him, and I immediately made friends with him. <laughs> Look, you know, to the team owners and executives, these incredible players standing behind me, and to all the supporters and families. Thank you for coming up. Thank you for being here. I really mean it. Please, I'll have a seat. <laughs> if you have one. <laughs> Dallas Fort Worth and the entire Metroplex. You're used to winning championships. <laughs> I noticed that. I want the record to show I've got a little bit of a, an ability to, to say nice things because I married a Philly girl. <laughs> Anyway, Philly fans are tough. <laughs> and if I didn't root for the Phillies, I'd be sleeping alone. But <laughs> she understands this part of the job. <laughs> anyway, from football to basketball to hockey to soccer, many doubters wondered if baseball would ever join them. Well, to paraphrase Corey Seager, yeah. I guess we do know. <laughs> The American League West was as tough as it's ever been. The division races decided on the last day. Although they may not have clinched the division, you certainly got the last word in. <laughs> After sweeping Tampa Bay and Baltimore, by the way, it's not Baltimore. My dad's from Baltimore. It's Balmer, okay? <laughs> you got your revenge on the Houston Astros. And then you beat Arizona to become World Series champions. And you set some records along the way. Your standout pitcher, Nathan, where are you, Nathan? <laughs> By the way, I want to know who the hell Nathan's haberdasher is. I like his dreads, man, I tell you. <laughs> Looking good, Nathan. <laughs> Major League record with five wins in a single postseason. Garcia, another major league record. Most RBIs in a single season. In my job, I'm always looking for runs batted in. You know? <laughs> and you know, your manager, Bruce, earned four World Series as a coach. I told him. I told him he's going to need another finger. Or else you got to put the fifth ring on his thumb. I mean, I don't know how you do that, man. You know? Anyway, as you know, over 50 years since this franchise left Washington, you're back in the nation's capital as world champions, and you deserve it. From fighting hard to make the postseason to finally winning the first ever title, I think there's a word, a word you all embody. Resilience. You're a hell of a resilient club, man. And as you know, your GM, Chris, pulled out a pad of paper in San Diego and asked the Rangers staff if they believed you could win. It's clear if they didn't answer right, they were going to get fired. But anyway, <laughs> it's a good whole organization. And all of you answered yes in a minute. You never gave up. You never, never gave up. And you kept the faith. And like your favorite band, Creed, <laughs> we took each other higher and higher. You really did. <laughs> but let me close with this. Along with being champions of the world, you're the first and foremost champions in your community. Yeah. The support you give the community, I mean this sincerely, it matters. It matters a lot. Local schools feeding and educating children, it matters. Cultural centers, 
celebrating Latino history and Latino country, culture, which everybody ought to start learning more about. <laughs> well, like, parenthetically, you know that 28 out of every high school students is Latino. We better start figuring it out. And the health and well-being of our nation's veterans, military families, and first responders, what you do matters because that's America at its best. So congratulations to the world champion Texas Rangers and good luck for the rest of the season, man. I'm not going to turn this over. <laughs> to your GM who can play a little ball himself. Chris, it's yours. Thank you, Mr. Thank President. You. President Biden, thank you for the uh, very gracious remarks. Um, and thank you and your staff for hosting us here at the White House. Um, this has been a, you all have uh, graciously accommodated our uh, rigorous schedule and provided us an unbelievable reception for which we are extremely grateful. So thank you. Thank you. The, the opportunity to be honored here at the White House by the President of the United States is the continuation of what has been the most successful and historic season in the history of the Texas Rangers Baseball Club. The success of our team is not possible without the collective efforts of our entire organization, starting with our majority owner, Ray Davis, our team president, Neil Liebman, um, our entire front office, our manager, Bruce Bochy, um, a tremendous coaching and support staff, and most importantly, these players. As, it, as many of you know, the 2023 season was a roller coaster of a season. Um, it was filled with highs and extreme lows, and there were moments where it didn't feel like we could possibly win the World Series. But these group of guys, this group of guys, they never gave up hope, they never veered off course, and in the end, they persevered and won it all. The character of this team and the resilience they demonstrated will forever define the 2023 Texas Rangers. These players made history and forever changed the perception of our franchise. Most importantly to you fans, you all waited a long time for this championship, 52 years. <laughs> You all deserve this championship, and we thank you for your patience. <laughs> it's a huge honor to be here today celebrating the 2023 Texas Rangers and the World Series Champions Championship. And uh, at this time, I'd like to ask Bruce Bochy, our on-field manager and leader, to present President Biden with a couple gifts on behalf of the team. Thank you. Please remain in your seat as the President departs.